Well, um, I'm back again, and I was wanting to show everybody. I, I'm sure everybody's got their own technique, but um, <clears throat> when I tried these Castle six and a half polarized bullet connectors, um, you know these are really good connectors. They say 200 amp is I think continuous yeah I'm pretty sure continuous so I mean they're really nice I bought this as a already pre-made but you know you don't always get to have that option when you have batteries so what I'm trying to get at here is you know these suckers can be kinda hard to put in so what I did, you'll see here, you know, they slip in, but it takes some pressure, and I didn't want to take a hammer and beat on it, so what I used, this is just a cheapo, like, um, I think I got it from maybe AutoZone, but this is a... 5.5 I don't know if you can see that there but that what I did was put the skinny part down in there and I made sure to have that covered with electrical tape because you don't want anything to short out. That's the reason I took this old bench um, vice grip. Well, I mean, it, it, it works alright, but it's getting kind of old. But I took electrical tape, see there? Just in case, when I was pushing on this, when I put it in there, so basically it'd be like that, in to the bullet take this edge right here which if I'm wrong here guys just completely just tell me I don't care um, but you know this method worked for me so you push that down in there when these are loose when you're actually putting these connectors on so Put that down in there, put it in the vice grip, it's hard to really kind of tell you, but you'll put that edge right there, and make sure you just have something on whatever vice you've got, because you don't want it short out, so that's what I did was just electrical tape. So you'll have that edge right there. Make sure you got it pretty good up on there. Otherwise, if you get too close to the edge, it's going to just pop right off. So that piece is going to be in there, and you're going to be basically pushing it. So when you're doing it, just keep on making, make sure you don't push it too far because you can because you do have a lot more force with something like this than your typical hammer. Um, so that's what I used and I think it worked pretty well. I like it. I like connectors. Um, I mean, I think the reason they're kind of hard to get in is one, you want good connection. So, you know, you're going to have to have something to get them in but let me know if that if that helps you at all or if you've got any tips of your own um, just shout at me uh, leave me a message I'd greatly appreciate it but yeah so far I'm getting pretty far with it this is just for testing I'm not doing speed runs with that radio um, the DX4C Spectrum nice looking radio but 
after looking up the range and everything on these, you're you may be looking a little bit over 600 feet. So no, it ain't gonna work for speed runs. Um, this may be changed for Cord Cordova or P Poseidon, and this X will be a XL2. But um, you know that's in the future. I'm trying to reach some goals with this the way it is right now. I just got these um, SMC batteries, really nice looking quality. I mean, how many places you get batteries from that that test them? I mean, that's just amazing to me. Yeah, you know, I had Turnagy from Hobby King, but, you know, it, it's more or less, you've got quantity over quality is the way I look at it. Yeah, that one's kind of been abused. It's kind of been in a couple wrecks, but still works. Uh, sales, you know, the balance on it is still good. This thing's a piece of junk. That's the Helion 3600 milliamp 25C burst uh, 3S. Um, over these Venoms, overpriced. I mean, you can get better, but you know, since I was where I was with my son and we needed to get another battery, you know, I picked up another one because we was just maybe a couple minutes away from the hobby store. So they they sell the Venoms and you got all these other brands out there, Predator and all them. But so far, the Turnagy, um, I like them, the Nanotechs. Um, I can't quite for say the SMCs yet, but just the quality. And what I've seen in the box, you know, I think it'd be really good. But, um, anyway, you know, there's your tool for putting bolt connectors in. That's, that's my tool. I mean, that work. Works for me. Alright, guys. I'm out. And let me know if you need anything. I appreciate you watching the video. And... Sorry is so long. I'm out. That's the second time I said I'm out. I'm out this time. Bye.